So a lot of people ask me why I'm recommending fillers to their midface when they found me on YouTube and all they want is buckle fat pad removal. Uh, other patients may suspect that I'm uh, upselling a service or even just trying to figure out a way to make myself more profitable as a businessman. And while all of that has merit, the truth is I look at the face as a whole. And when I evaluate somebody for surgery, sometimes I recognize that a result will not be as attractive or successful if we don't take a step back and look at the big picture. People often understand that to do buckle fat pad removal, you need to have a good framework, good, you know, malar cheekbone structure, good jawline structure, you know, and a strong angle of the mandible. But why do we say that? What, where does all of this interplay become relevant? The answer is in something called the OG curve. Hi, I'm Dr. Jonathan Zelkin, a board certified plastic surgeon here in Newport Beach, California, today to discuss the OG curve. Not the OMG curve, not the OG like the original gangster curve, but the OG curve, O-G-E-E. -E. Not capitalized either, because OG is not a person. What is the OG curve? The OG curve is an architectural and artistic concept, and it's manifest in engineering and art and science. And it really means two curves, one concave and one convex, like an S curve or a, a serpentine curve. And this curve is so important in the perception of beauty and is allowing us to come one step closer to being able to qualify the concept of beauty and even quantify it. So where does this come into play in my practice? A lot of people are interested in buckle fat pad removal or slenderizing of the jawline, but when they lack skeletal features that give them a flat face, for example, I really can't enhance the lower face without providing a contrast. This juxtaposition of concavity and convexity is very attractive and explains why people like that, the bigger cheekbone look or that hollowed out face look. I'm not talking about gaunt. I am talking about turning an oblique view or even a frontal view into a series of curves, whereas it was initially a single curve or a flat line. In this case example, I performed face tight, which I do all the time. But this woman, who's an attractive woman to begin with, lacked certain skeletal features in her mid face that would make that result effective. And so when you have thin skin and buckle fat pad removal is not always necessary or the best option, sometimes rather than taking away the lower third, you've got to add to the upper third. And this is where filler and volumization of the cheeks is important in buckle fat pad removal and face tight surgery, which includes liposuction and radiofrequency skin tightening, but it's also important in facelift and other procedures. So what exactly is the OG curve on the face and why do I need to look for it in befores and afters? It's a great question again, and you don't need to look for it in befores and afters. It's another je ne sais pas, whereas the result will be more attractive without looking at that result and seeing an obvious change. This is what I endeavor to do as a plastic surgeon, is to make you look the same, but better, to make people wonder if you've had something done, or to wonder why all of a sudden you look more attractive. This also may explain why Bella Hadid's change from a prepubescent girl to a now postpubescent model is often attributed to cheek volumization or cheek implants or buckle fat pad surgery. Oftentimes, as we age alone, the baby fat that conceals the underlying structures that will create OG curves goes away with time. And when you lose some of that subcutaneous fat in your cheeks, your natural cheekbones will start to rejoice and some of the natural concavities in your midface or the midfacial hollow will also become more noticeable. The OG curve, O-G-E-E -E, lowercase, is a very important concept when you are contemplating plastic surgery of your face and I encourage you to ask your plastic surgeon or me to explain to you in layman's terms if we can how this is gonna be relevant to your care. Thank you so much. If you have any other questions or concerns, do not hesitate to reach out. Also, be sure to subscribe and turn your notifications on. Thank you.